Hello, this is David Diga Hernandez, and you are watching Spirit Church here on the Encounter TV Network. More than it will change anyone or anything else, prayer will change the one who prays. And I want to give you the secret to effective prayer. Once you learn this, your prayer life will never be the same again. First, Stephen Moctezuma is here with me. He's going to lead you in some very anointed worship. And then we're going to get right into this message. Here is Stephen Moctezuma. Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God, and I Before you can understand prayer, you must understand your relationship with the Holy Spirit and what He accomplishes through you in your life. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, beginning at verse 10, we see the scripture says this, But it was to us that God revealed these things by His Spirit. For His Spirit searches out everything and shows us God's deep secrets. No one can know a person's thoughts except that person's own spirit, and no one can know God's thoughts except God's own spirit. And we have received God's spirit, not the world's spirit, so we can know the wonderful things God has freely given us. We have to come to realize that the Holy Spirit has been united with us in oneness. You and the Holy Spirit are one spirit. And it is out of that oneness that you pray. It is out of that connection, out of that fellowship, that you begin to search the depths of God. When you go to pray, recognize that the Holy Spirit is the one guiding your path, that the Holy Spirit is the one lighting your way. The scripture tells us that the Holy Spirit searches the deep things of God. He understands the mind of God. 
He understands the will of God. He understands the plans of God. He understands the nature of God. He understands the power of God. And he understands all of these aspects of God to the fullest of their capacity. He lacks no understanding. He lacks no revelation. And he has given that to you and I in our spirit. If I can put it to you boldly, I would say you already know God. You're already connected with God. You're already one with God. You already have revelation. You already have power. You already have the ability to live life in the spirit. Why? Because deep within your spirit, there's a fellowship that takes place 24 seven with or without your awareness. And that is the fellowship of the Holy Spirit and the Father taking place within you. You see, you may not understand with your carnal mind. You, not, you may not understand with your emotions, but in the spirit, you already have full understanding. Therefore, prayer is not a means to connect with God. Prayer is done out of connection that is already there. So this key to prayer is the person of the Holy Spirit. He's the one who guides us. He's the one who speaks to us and tells us what we should pray in each and every moment. People often ask, what do I do when I don't know what to pray? Well, there are many options. You can pray in the Spirit, meaning pray in tongues. You can speak to the Holy Spirit and say, help me, guide me, lead me, show me what I should pray for. Show me who I should pray for. Show me how I should pray. And as you do this, you will notice a rhythm in the Spirit beginning to pick up. And when you go to pray, know that that rhythm really is guided by the Spirit of God. It's a matter of surrendering to Him. When it comes to matters of the Spirit, we must know that you cannot fight the Holy Spirit and you cannot force the Holy Spirit. No, when it comes to moving with the Spirit, we simply must flow. We simply must surrender. Like an eagle surrendering to the wind. Like a sailboat surrendering to the wind. We must surrender to the wind of the Spirit, the breath of God, and receive that direction and allow Him to move us in the depths of the Spirit. When we go to pray, we often ask, how should I do it? Should I sit? Should I stand? Should I pace? Should I stay still? Should I yell? Should I whisper? Should I just think the prayers within my mind and can God work effectively through that? Here's what you should do. You should simply ask the Holy Spirit, what is it you want me to do in this moment? How is it you want me to approach God in this moment? And the Holy Spirit, who is faithful, will guide you. And the more you pray, the more you seek Him, the more you will realize that there is a natural flow to the Spirit. There is a natural flow to prayer. It's not something you have to organize. It's not something you can systemize. It's not something that you can discover through a formula. It's something that you simply sense that cannot really be described unless you've experienced it. So how do you position yourself to that? Well, it's very simple. The scripture tells us in Romans chapter 8, verses number 26 through 27, the scripture says this, and the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. And the Father who knows all hearts knows what the Spirit is saying. For the Spirit pleads for us believers. I love this. For the Spirit pleads for us believers in harmony with God's own will. Let's break this down. The scripture says the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. In other words, we don't know how to pray. We don't know how to focus in. We don't know how to seek God. We don't know how to discover His presence. We're weak. We're unable. Apart from the help of the Holy Spirit, we're lost. We're floundering in nothingness. We'll never accomplish anything unless it's by the Holy Spirit. The scripture goes on to say, for example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for. How many times have you been there? Lord, I'm here. I've isolated myself in the stillness of the quiet. I've placed myself where there is no distraction. I've removed from within me all of the chaos and the clutter and all of the responsibilities and all of the fears and all of those things that can still my focus. Yet I don't know what to pray. I don't know what to do. Do I sing a worship song? Do I pray in tongues? Do I go down a list of things I want God to do for me? What do I do in this moment? But the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. I love this because there really is no word that has depth that can express what the Spirit is praying for us, what the Spirit is desiring for us. We simply 
have to surrender to those prayers. You say, how do I surrender? I'm telling you how. You approach Him in humility. You tell Him that you want His help. You tell Him that you need Him. You become aware of the fact, be mindful of the fact that you're dependent upon Him. And the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. And the Father who knows all hearts knows what the Spirit is saying. For the Spirit pleads for us believers in harmony with God's own will. Think about this. How often have you asked a mighty man or a mighty woman of God to lay hands on you? How many times have you visited a church service or a conference or a special event to seek an impartation or to seek maybe a touch of God from some ministry or through some vessel that he's anointed? And there's nothing wrong with that. That's biblical. But here we're being told that the Holy Spirit himself wants to pray for you. Imagine that. The Holy Spirit himself laying hands on you. The Holy Spirit himself praying for you. He knows your heart and he knows God's heart. He knows your nature and he knows God's nature. And because he knows God better than anybody knows God, and because he knows you better than anybody knows you, he can pray in such a way that both natures, both beings are harmonized into a beautiful oneness that can only be found when you surrender to the person of the Holy Spirit. And the Father who knows all hearts knows what the Spirit is saying. For the Spirit pleads for us believers in harmony with God's own will. I love that he prays for us in harmony with God's own will, meaning whatever he prays for us is going to mold us. Whatever he prays for us is going to shift us. It's going to transform us. This is how you pray in a way that transforms you. It's by the Holy Spirit. Only he can bring those desires out. Just the other day, I was waking up and I was in that state where I was asleep and I was conscious of myself waking up. So I was in between being completely alert and being fully asleep. And as I'm waking up, I can hear myself praying. I, I, and God is my witness. As I'm waking up, I can hear myself praying. Lord, help me today. I said, help me please you. Make me willing to obey you. Show me your will and just help me please you. That's what I'm praying. I'm verbally praying that. As I'm waking up, I can hear myself praying this. Why was this? It's because the Holy Spirit is free to move in me. And I surrender to him. Sometimes I'll have dreams that are from God. Sometimes I'll wake up praying in tongues. Why is this? It's because the Holy Spirit has been given control. I can recall instance after instance where had the Holy Spirit not grabbed my attention and just nudged me in a certain direction, I would have been lost. You see, the Holy Spirit does it so subtly, sometimes we don't even realize it's Him who is doing it. He moves us. He, he causes us to be guided along a certain path. And there'll be times where you'll say something and you'll say, why did I say that? Where you'll do something and you'll say, why did I do that? And it will be positive and it will be spiritual. Why? Because the Holy Spirit moved you. The Holy Spirit has possessed me. He has ownership of me. He can do whatever he wants with his vessel. And there will be those moments because you're united with the Spirit, especially in prayer. There will be those moments where you won't know where the Holy Spirit ends and where you begin, where the prayers and the oneness are just a flow. This is the ultimate key that the Holy Spirit prays for us. And this is the most beautiful part of it all. As long as you tell him, as long as you're surrendered, and it really is just something that's postured in your heart. As long as you're willing to be willing, the Holy Spirit begins to work with you. And He begins to desire on your behalf. He desires things for you through you. He accomplishes things for you through you. He begins to work on your nature. He begins to work on your heart. He begins to work on your desires. And suddenly you'll have this desire to pray. Suddenly you'll have this desire to get into the Word. Suddenly you'll have this desire to worship. What is that? Those are the desires of the Spirit coming through you and they're working for you. The ultimate key to prayer, the Holy Spirit. He is truly the ultimate intercessor, the ultimate prayer warrior. and He wants to pray for you. So how do you do this? As I said, it's so simple. You simply posture your heart and become mindful of the fact that you need Him. And then just say, Holy Spirit, help me. And it may not happen for you right away. But this is why you must continue. This is why you must persevere. So that you reach the point where you become one who can hear the Spirit. Where you become one who can surrender. And He'll do it. He's faithful. He is working His way toward you. 
And you can rely completely on that as you simply say, Holy Spirit, have your way. Well, that is it for the lesson. I want to pray with you now. I want to pray that the Holy Spirit would begin to pool on your heart, that he would begin to pool you into the depths of God. Let's pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your Holy Spirit, who truly is the ultimate prayer warrior, who truly is our mighty intercessor. And I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would give them the words to speak, that you would put in them an unction and a fire that would be ignited into a powerful prayer life. And I thank you, Father, for the anointing that is flowing now, breaking off the chains of prayerlessness, breaking off the chains of apathy. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for all that you do for us through us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And I want you to say it because you believe it. Say amen. I want to welcome now the new members of Spirit Church. There you are up on the screen. We love you. We are praying for you. I always say that because I always mean it. If you'd like information on how you can join the Spirit family, then simply go to davidhernandezministries.com slash spiritchurch. Become a member today. When you sign up, it's absolutely free. You're going to get a brand new teaching from me every single week and a brand new worship cover from Stephen Moctezuma every single week. And the best part, you can reply to that email for prayer support from our ministry staff. Now to your comments. These comments are coming from last week's teaching, A Radical Call to Follow Jesus, which was really challenging. I suggest you go look at that teaching and make sure you get that into your spirit. Now, if you'd like me to potentially read your comments on next week's edition of Spirit Church, then go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section right now. And be sure to also subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash Encounter TV. And when you subscribe, click the notification bell so that you do not miss a single thing that we release. Again, now to the comments. This is from last week, a radical call to follow Jesus. The first commenter writes, I will be always grateful and thankful to God for this ministry. I believe that I was lacking the friendship with the Holy Spirit. Now I have a personal friend. Laura writes, Stephen keeps getting more and more anointed. Praise Jesus. Well, I totally agree with you. Stephen is absolutely anointed and he is my favorite worship leader. Be sure to check out his playlist here on the Encounter TV network. You won't be disappointed. The next commenter writes, I love what you're doing. Your messages always seem to come just at the right time. I pray your ministry grows more and more. Hashtag glory to God. Hashtag Jesus is Lord. And we also are praying for growth because it means souls will be reached. And the final comment comes from Sergio Lovin Sanchez, who writes, This message spoke to my wife and I. Thank you for breaking it down and teaching the truth. This ministry has helped me, my wife, and kids. My son Jeremiah is 11 years old, and he has encountered the Holy Spirit by listening to the messages. Thank you for your obedience to the Lord. And I'm going to tell you why this is special to me. Because I was saved when I was 11 years old. That's when I first met the Holy Spirit. And here we're seeing Jeremiah, Sergio's son, is 11 years old and is encountering the Holy Spirit through our content. Look, this is the Holy Spirit's channel. He can do whatever he wants to do with it. This is why people write into us all the time saying they feel the presence of God. They sense his power. Listen, people get healed watching this, this, this teaching. People get healed watching our channel, watching our content. Why? It's because of the presence of the Holy Spirit. It's His power. It's His anointing. And that's what's on this broadcast. That's what's on our content. It's the power of the Holy Spirit. And we want to see more lives changed than ever before. And this is where we need your help. If you've been receiving from this content, if you're someone who says, I've received, I've been blessed, maybe you've attended one of our events. Maybe you've read one of my books. Maybe you listen to Stephen Moctezuma's music, or perhaps you watch all of the content here. You receive the teachings, and your life has been blessed. And I'm calling on you. Partner with the ministry today. Give a one-time gift or become a monthly supporter. If you sign up to become my partner for $30 or more a month, I will send you either Carriers of the Glory, Encountering the Holy Spirit in Every Book of the Bible, or 25 Truths About Demons and Spiritual Warfare. You can select any one of those books. When you sign up for $30 or more a month, I will sign it as my initiation gift to you, and then we'll send it off just to say thank you. Now remember, one-time gifts of any amount, monthly gifts of any amount support us and help us. We have some who give $5. We have some who give $100,000 or more. And we have partners who give $30 a month, $500 a month, $1,000 a month, whatever it is. From the greatest to the least, 
Everything counts. So do it today, one time or monthly. And I'm asking you to do that right now. Go to davidhernandezministries.com slash donate to give a one-time gift or davidhernandezministries.com slash partner to sign up for a monthly gift. Do it today. Help us win souls and build believers through events and media. Well, that is it for this edition of Spirit Church here on the Encounter TV network. Until next time, remember, nothing is impossible with God. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, help me win souls by spreading the gospel through events and media. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.